Hallelujah. God bless you. You would not believe the last three days, man. Sometimes you'll trip and fall and, and be so low to the ground, be so hopeless and helpless by the things that you've done yourself, you know, self-inflicted wounds. And God will be so graceful that he will, he, will, he will take you from the depths of the miry pit that you dig and you place yourself in. And he'll draw you out of that darkness into his marvelous light. And he'll take you out of that pit and take you to a place where you can really see who he is. You know, the Bible says in Romans, Romans I think it's 8.18, it says that, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us, man. And there's something like you really don't see the glory of God like you do when you're broken. Not that you can't see it. It's just that it just seems like sometimes we just don't recognize it. We just don't really comprehend the vastness and the depth and the width and the length by which the love of God will go and and and, and to rescue you or to save you even from your own self there is no wounds like self-inflicted wounds boy boy there's a lot of things that we do to ourselves, and i pray that that mercy and grace that flows from the throne of god like the blood that fruits flowed so freely from the from the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, will flow into your life, man. And I'm just, I'm just so thankful on this terrific Tuesday that though I did it to myself, you know, though I, I, I made the choice to do things that put me in a bad, bad position, we still got a God that lives and that lives on high. We still have a, a Lord. It's overall and he looks, he is high and he looks low when he's able to reach right down into your muck, into your mess and wash you in his crimson blood and cleanse you from all of the mistakes and bad decisions that you make and prayerfully, prayerfully, we will learn from those lessons that he teaches us in the struggle and in the pain and that we would just be wiser that we would gain the wisdom that God is uh, teaching us in those hard times in those mean times and that's my prayer for you on this terrific Tuesday God bless you I pray that that blesses you I pray that God is just as good to you as he is to me and I'm praying for you and your family, and I pray that you continue to lift me and my family up and that you would pray for us, Lord, that, that the Lord would continue to, to help us through these tough times and to, to issue out that favor that comes from heaven, that open heaven would be over our lives, and that'd be over your life too. And just the favor of God would be so consuming in your life that even when the enemy wants to say no and wants to ridicule and ridicule you and shake their head at you and mock you and, and, and provoke you, that the goodness of the Lord, the wisdom of the Lord, and the favor of the Lord would be upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I love you guys. God bless you. Peace.